Hello procrastinators and welcome to No Cubes 3 Free Game Fridays. Today we are going to be playing Glitch to start with. This is a game that as you can see jumps between different filters constantly. It's a first person game so we can have a look around. Uh, but these different filters, they, it never goes clear. It always looks weird and disorientating. And you've got to try and... Oh, good grief, that looks like I'm on my glasses on that one. You've got to try and navigate uh, a quite a simple series and set of jumps. Um, but with the game constantly changing, so now it looks like it's a bit hazy out. Uh, it appears to be starting some sort of prison thing, which is a bit weird. Uh, right, let's let's have a go navigating. It, you're I've never played a game where I've been this cautious. Oh, good, the 8-bit version. Uh, this is quite a weird one, because the closer you get to stuff, like the more resolution it has, so you've got to sort of look to where you are and try and navigate along. I'm currently walking along. Ah, there we go. Right, so that one's quite good for seeing what's actually coming up, but it's got sort of like the edges are all messed up, so you got to just kind of focus on the middle bit. So we go around here. Oh, there's... Okay, so there's some cylinders here we can jump on. The only downside about this game, and it's a big downside, is that it's it's got no checkpoints. So if you cock up, it's right back to the beginning with you. Shit, now is that sloped? Or was that... There's some lines there. Maybe that's something we can jump on. Boop. Yes! Uh, these lines you can walk over, they're just, uh, like, sort of... It's palm trees and stuff. I assume it's some sort of weird beach thing. So this is sort of a pier... Uh, maybe it should have been called Pier because, you know, you got to look at stuff and you're on a pier. I don't know. I don't name games for this reason. These look like orbs, but that looks like a way we can go. So I'm going to go along there. Oh, I think actually that they were... Oh, good grief. <sighs> and you died. If you can see that, I can just barely make that out. There's some orbs there. Yes, there they are. I accidentally ran across those. Right, this is the way we've got to be going, I think. Um, oh, God, it looks so weird. It's so... Uh, making... Uh, ah, there we go, that's much nicer. This is terrible for the long range, this one, but it's really quite good close-ups. So if you stick next to a wall, get right up to a, a wall like that and you can follow it on, no problems. Ah, that appears to be a massive dead end. Uh, this one is good at the close range, like that. It's actually more good at, like, sort of an angle. So you can see stuff from a certain angle, it clears off nicely. Uh, I think we have to go up here. Well, I'm not sure, because I've not actually got this far. This one is awful at everything, because it all blends into each other. Actually, no, close range, I know, because it's got, like, that thin line that joins everything up. So this is sort of good. Are we going to go up here? I think we've got up here. Oh, good God, it's gone to the blurry one. I have no idea where I am or what's going on. That's where I came from down there. Uh, that's not right. Oh, it's like navigating an old level of doom. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we want to jump on there. Uh, this one appears to just, like, stretch out the pixels that are at the top, left, bottom, right. So you just got to focus on the, the small middle area. Uh, this, this one isn't good for anything. Oh, God, I've got to jump off here now, but I don't know if... Because there was definitely a drop, so I've gone up high. Is that something we can drop onto? That looks like something we can drop onto, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Boosh, like that. Uh, one there. Boosh. Let's have a mighty one now. Boosh. And I think there's a jump there we can make, but I'm not sure how high it is or anything. Oh, that helps. Ready? Jump! I think I made it! Whee! Okay. Terrifying palm trees, terrifying palm trees, terrifying palm trees. Uh, I kind of want to wait a little bit to see if we can clear up on the next one. Oh, yeah, that, that made everything better. Looks like it's just a Game Boy game that's just failed to load. Right, okay, I'm going to try and slowly walk forwards while looking down. Oh, something was there. Ah, that's much better. Okay, so we have... Oh, shit. Freaks me out because it made a gap. Um, There's definitely something... Is This is the way to go? Ah, if we go... Oh, shit. The field of view changes as well, I've just realised. That's what's really confusing me. I think we can jump onto this. I think we're okay. Although I'm not sure and I'm quite confused. Ah, this is a, ni this is a nice one. Ah, what's that? Ah, oh, it's a palm tree. Okay. Uh, ah! Fuck! Oh. Okay, 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 okay. So, there was a gap in the middle there that I should have not completely ignored. Uh, right, there's an orb flowing in the sky. I've no idea what that's doing. Oh, I've fallen off. I've fallen off. Oh, the TV's broken. No, I fell off. There's some floating orbs in the sky. I wonder if there's other ways to go on this. There might be. Where did we get? We got to that bit I'm looking at there now, so there's still more to go. Good God. Yeah, this game is quite uh, infuriating. Ah! There's a big triangle... There, you, yeah, look, there's a pyramid thing. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, that's the bars. There, there's a big triangle thing in the middle that I always run into and it flops you off. Flops you off. That's the real word. Real word is flop. Okay, cylinders are easy to jump to because this is a nice way to see them. I do like that, that, that there's just those lights that just lit up differently. It looks very nice. Oh, shit. One more cylinder. One more cylinder. Jump on here. Dodge the pyramids. Vroom, de vroom. And then this was the orb bit. I just ran this and was okay last time. Can I do that again? Shite! Yes, I can! With a little bit of persuasion from the spacebar, I can definitely do that. Right, then I had to go up on here. Was that a jump? No, it wasn't a jump I had to make. I have to then go up onto this bit here. That was a ramp. I don't remember going up a ramp. I remember going up a ramp here. Oh, come on. 
It's weird, I'm now just ignoring the visuals. The visuals are just a memory aid instead of like an actual aid, which is... It's a really weird way to play. I recommend playing this because you get used to being disorientated and you have to look at things in a different way. Oh, so then we go down here. Okay, it's boom, boom, and then... Oh, that's a corner! I'm alive, fantastic. And then it was over there, and then it was over there. Ah, I missed the jump! Okay, so my big out there. That, I'll, I'll leave the rest of that for you to explore. That is glitch, it is confusing and hurts my brain. Kind of like a chemistry exam would. Next game! Okay, next up we have Probe Team. This is a game where you control little probes that only last 10 seconds at a time. They only have 10 seconds of fuel in each one, and you have to explore a vast cavern using... just getting further and further with each one, and just gradually pushing out and seeing how far you can explore. It's absolutely delicious. I will show you how it works. Uh, right, we control this little dude. Look how adorable he is. He's just so adorable. Anyway, uh, you budge him along with the analog sticks. No, not the analog sticks. The directional buttons. Thanks, brain. I've been consoled. I've been consoled. Uh, and you kind of just explore and see what you can see. And you can open switches. Ah, there's a thing there. We need to do something with those, I'm assuming. Right, so if we go down here, bounce. Ah, I didn't make it. I ran out of fuel. Okay, so the next one. Now I know where I'm going the next one. I don't have to explore as fast, so I can just go straight like this. Oh, slow it down. I try and slow it down so I can save a little bit of fuel. Ooh, ooh. Okay, right. Five seconds of fuel left. You don't. The fuel doesn't drain away if you're not using it. We'll hit him out of the way. They have physical mass, so it becomes quite dangerous later on. There we go. Got him. Right. Okay. I've done whatever that is. Uh, let's now have a have a scoot down here. Oh, there's a blob bit. Throw him up there. That's a dead end. Okay. So now we've got those dead ends uncovered. Goodbye, my probe. And you basically just sort of mask your probes. We'll continue to do our very best. Remember, use M to remember. Remember, use M to remember. Okay, that just opens, that just shows you the map. So this is the sort of level that's going to be taken off. And there's something on the map there, but I've never actually got to it. Because I get lost quite quickly. Uh, oh, okay, shit. Try and let go when you're not using stuff. Can we go through here? What's through here? Ah, another thing! I hit it! What does that do? Nobody knows. Well, somebody knows. And we will know shortly. No, let me through! I don't know what that is, and it wouldn't let me through. Okay, my probe died. There are some interesting things to see in the system. Let's keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna go, well, that's it. Four probes is all we had. Well, you, you think you'd just give the probes a little bit more fuel. There's very little you can do in 10 seconds. Ooh, grab a thing. <gasps> I opened up a thing! That's good. And there's two more already open. Ooh, we need to find one more. Okay, so let's go and find this one more. Ooh, hang on, where can it be? I've hit dead ends on all the places I've gone to. Boop -a -doo to you too, my friend. Where have we... Hang on, I'm confused. Subsystems are operational. That's good news. We are making great progress. Okay, hang on. Where haven't I been yet? Oh, at the top there. Yes, at the top. There was a little bit extra. Okay, so we go for this one at the top. Go, 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 go. Good bounce. Good bounce off there. Slow it down. Bounce off there. Gentle. Okay, we have a new... Oh, shit. New area here. Where are we going to go? Ah, there's the thing. Bounce. Got it. Okay, so that's the last one of them. Goodbye, probe. It's so sad when they die. <laughs> well, where they run out of fuel. It's just enough when we work together. Smiley face. I hate the 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 freaking frowny face you now have on Windows 8 when it crashes. Like, it's like, oh, you had a blue screen of death. They just put a, a frowny face on there to make me feel better that my computer just blue screened. <laughs> really annoys me. Um, okay, right. What's through here? Ooh, it's all open now. Uh, let's explore slowly and carefully, or quickly and ten secondly. Right, what's through here? Ah, another one. Good, we're opening stuff up. I think. Oh, throw. I want them to go faster. Why is there friction in space? Are we in space? Wow, that did something. There was a sound near our deployment pod. Oh, was there? Cool. Well, I'm ignoring that because there was more to explore there. Let's go. Ow. Bounce off that thing. Uh, get those little corners. What's through here? Let's have an explore. Some bolted off doors. Some... Oh, my God. I've run out of thing. There's loads of stuff around there. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. The... There was a door here. Ah, this door opened. Boop. Get out of the way. Oh, it's like snooker. Uh, and that put me up here. Okay, so now we see we can now jump ahead a little bit further. So we can explore deeper and deeper the more we explore. We can explore deeper and deeper the more we explore. Thanks, Brain. Thanks for that. those words of wisdom there. Man, I didn't get anywhere. No, it's right in there. Ah. Okay, here we go. Whoop. I did a little bit of, of arrowing there. Oh, crap. Come on. Go up. Careful. Oh, I'm... Oh. Crap, I, I should have gone just for the, the thing. I'm going to bounce it off this, these walls and waste all the fuel. Because I can't get anywhere. Because I didn't go through the door that I was supposed to go through to cut off the freaking gap. Come on, go, 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 go. Down. In the gap. In the pod. Oh, crap. In there. 
Thank you. Okay. No, get out of my way. Actually, I might spend this guy's life just nudging this thing out of the way. There we go. Well, he was really annoying and in the way. And I'll just die over in this corner as well. <laughs> oh, by my proby self. Right down here. In here. And volume to you too, my friend. Let's go down here. Oh. Ha, this is where this one died. We will go further. Oh, no, there was another one who died around here, wasn't it? I've died here as well. Ah. Okay, I'll end this here so you can go and explore the depths. That is probe team. There are hidden things hidden. Go and find them. <laughs> and finally today, we have Exposure. This is an absolutely gorgeous little adventure game where you've got to do something. I'm not going to spoil what you have to do. I would just wander you around this place for a little while. The game will tell you what you have to do as you go along, so we're going to do that now. You control this little doodlebug here at the front, and you run through. Look how gorgeous this looks! Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. You can run and jump around, and there's some dead things here. And there's people you can talk to by going up to. Soul's light is intense in the desert. Many things cannot survive more than a few seconds of exposure. That is true. That's the see that thing up there, the top in the big. That's the sun. It's called Sol, like our one should be. Uh, this orb has been purified by Sol's light. An invader of Nyx was trying to place it in the altar. It's safe now that it's pure, so you can pick this thing up. Uh, that means I now have that in my inventory, and then I can plunk that in there. Shazambo. Uh, there's, as you can see, dotted around, there are a few of these things, so you sort of have to get these orbs and whack them in there. It's pretty sort of semi-self-explanatory. This orb is still tainted by Nyx. Is that you pronounce that? Nyx? I don't know. Fill it with Sol's light and purge the shadow. So as you can see here, I'm in the shadow, so I don't get the sun. It's different. So I can pick this up. And then uh, I can let the sun's light shine upon it, and it gradually goes empty, 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 empty. Takes about ten seconds, as a lot of the games you may have noticed I've been playing have had the theme of ten seconds. That's because a lot of them are from the latest London Dare, and that was theme was ten seconds. Uh, so there you go. Now we've had that is uh, all shiny and stuff. We plonk it in there, and so we now have two of the things done. I think there are seven, depending on what you put in there, changes the order of stuff, and different things happen, and there are multiple endings. Because uh, you can get the black ones and put the black ones in there. I will demonstrate that to you now. Uh, this person says, don't be afraid to jump. Yes, I won't be afraid. Uh, leap over here. Whoop. And then plop that in there like that. Now we have a black one in there. What will that do? I don't know. You'll find out when you finish the game, won't you? Uh, right, let's have another wander through. Uh, if you can see now, you can probably see in the distance. There's sort of a giant colossus at the very back. That is the end of the game back there. It's quite a short little game, but that is the end. We're heading towards that colossus to do colossus-based things. Ooh. When I first saw this, I thought it was some sort of tornado. Because it just looks like a little... End. No, anybody else? No? It kind of actually looks just like a bit of bacon that's slightly collapsed as well. Oh, no, I want bacon. Right, climb up. <laughs> Climb up here, let's talk to this dude who appears to be sitting up the top here. What do you want? You can see the Mega Golem from here. Mega Golem. Whoops, the daisies. I wonder who made it. Uh, probably the creator of this game. But that's not what you meant, was it? Leaping off! Uh, this, you can do a fair bit of backtracking stuff. I do like that the footsteps have stayed. I wonder how far back the footsteps stay for. They stay back the whole way? No, they stay back. Oh no, they do keep going. I must have jumped there or something. Good grief. How far back do these go? Hang on, I've lost them. That's how far back they go. <laughs> Set the shade. I like how the music changes when you're in the shade. Oh, look at that. I did Metal Gear Solid sounds like didn't sneak. Right, so let's go back to the um, mission at hand, I suppose. Let's bounce around. No footprints. Leave no footprints. Let's back this. Yeah, no footprints. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to this old dude here. Or young dude, or whatever. He's got a hood on. I am the tree keeper. Ooh. Desert life isn't so bad for these trees. Aw. Some cold water wakes them right up. If only we had some cold water. Oh, we do! So now we have this cold water here. We can plonk that on a tree like, say, this one. Plonk. And now we have some shade to use later. Let's grow another tree! Oh, yeah. We've made more shade for us. Yum. I like the way the legs just do jiggle when I'm in the air. Woo! If you stand out in the sun for too long, though, this has the same counter thing, but it doesn't become a white orb. It just dies like this. <laughs> Dramatic. Right, uh, let's go and wander over here, see what's over here, and then I will let you guys explore this because it's absolutely delicious and you should totally play it. Uh, that should be a tree, but I, I've run out of water stuff. I let it die. Climbing, 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 climbing. There's a dude sitting on the top. His words of wisdom will end this video for us. What are you going to say to us? Things were different before the schism. They sure were, my friend. They sure were. <laughs> Cube. Videos dropping from a 
bub like bird poo. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird 